Yo, what's going on, y'all? Uh, so we back with a video. Um, I didn't think I was going to have to make this video, actually, um, just because I felt like the chips would lie where they were. People would feel mixedly about it or, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't expect what I thought I was going to expect, and we're going to get to that. Um, if you can see up top here, I got about th four tabs right here. We're going to go through them pretty quickly. Um, and try to gather a consensus on some of these reviews of Black Myth Wukong. Uh, to start off with, right, I'm going to say a couple things, preface a couple things. I do get, like, right, so reviewers have to be a little bit harder on stuff because that is their job is to review things, pick things apart, find every little thing, this and that, that they can talk about. Also, um, one of the guys that I'm going to show you brings up a point of if you talk about anything that has big hype and I understand and you say something negative about it, people will kind of jump all over you and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Get all that cool. That's that's a fair point to be made. But my thing is, is um, since Black Myth Wukong has pretty much started, we uh, we've gone from that looks really good. Uh, I, when is that going to be out? I don't think that's ever going to be out. That's too cool to be real. Oh, it is real. Oh, it's this. Oh, the linearness. Oh, it's not this. Oh, it's a boss rush. Oh, it's, it's, uh, just so many things. And my thing is if my, I would rather people come out and say, it's not my style. It's not my flavor of game, things like that. But what I don't like to be honest, I, and I've had a conversation with a lot of people, is, is just because you would personally change it or you would view something to be different doesn't always mean, sometimes it does mean the game, what they put in is just bad. But sometimes it's, it's, it's not that it's bad. It's just you would do that differently. It's not what they did was bad. You just had a different preference. And I can see both sides of that. But what I've been seeing um, with some of these Black Myth Wukong reviews is... Even whenever somebody gave it a 10, I'm like, okay, so what's the bad about it? Because there has to be some bad because, I mean, that's your job. Let us hear the worst bit about it. The worst bit I'm hearing for some people is, and we'll get to it, is it like an invisible wall, some sort of um, uh, l uh, lagging in FPS a little bit at times. Which to me, personally, and this is all PC reviews, is normal for almost every PC game that has come out. Almost all of the PC games that I have played since getting um, really heavy in the PC since 21, around 2020, yeah, 2021 to 2022, somewhere in there, everything has always needed uh, time to optimize. So the first thing I want to bring up is a guy, and this isn't the shit on him, so I just want everybody to hear what I'm saying. A guy called Luke Stevens Live. I know a lot of people watch him. Cool little sub count. Cool make nice little videos. He, I think he has a lot of well-rounded thoughts. My problem, though, with his video is, is it was cute. We do a lot of things on stream and on our videos to try to, like, you know what I mean, gain that traction. All that. That's cool and all. But the whole little red flag thing is, is weird to me whenever he says in his video we're gonna go through some reviews now whether he did this on his actual live is one thing but my thing is to show that in your video don't have me thinking you're you said you're gonna check out some reviews and then the only review you show is ign listen listen whether what was true or not true about this whole black Myth wukong and the 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 devs and whoever else in this all this stuff neither here nor there to me because at this point we don't know even though we do know but let's just say we we don't know anything for sure you cannot take the review from somebody that clearly wants to give it a lower score than they did want to give it because of other reasons and we'll get to it we'll get to i'm telling y'all to to sit here and act like they didn't do what they did and then you get people like this that only want to talk about their review whenever it's a conflict of interest the whole fucking thing to me is a just a conflict of interest just should not be done i think dudes like this gotta gotta do better like you got your following you got people in the comments saying oh it's just another game that like bro but what about all the other people 
Like, if you go jump on one of the lower end, like, they didn't even want to give it a, uh, they wanted to give it a nine. They couldn't give it a nine because of performance issues. So he jumps on it anyway because that is the only place that wanted to kind of just drag it through the mud a little bit. But where is he, the nine out of ten reviews, the ten out of tens, the eight out of tens that loved it and still just only thought some performance stuff? Cool, but like I said, all the time it don't matter what rig you got if it ain't optimized well it ain't optimized well so that's number one bro just be fair about it get get review more than one person review more than the motherfucker like you know ign is if you praise an ign you gonna get that glow just like he talking about he was talking to C C project cd red devs like you you talking you in the inner circle of gaming so to me it makes sense that of course you only wanted to publish a video about ign I'm leave that there. This second one, bro. The second one. We have these guys right here, right? And this is out of their own mouths. This is out of their own mouths, right? This is this is IGN Games, Game Scoop 77. Did Black Myth Wukong deliver? Bro, right here on the left, asked for a PS5 code. He saw it, he didn't get it. So of course he looked like you could just tell on his face that he just got mixed feelings about it, even though he has not played it. The guy on the right here with the mustache has not played it. <laughs> the dude here in the middle has been praising it the whole time and ain't heard nothing as nearly as bad as what they were saying with these performance issues. So you got two dudes that ain't even played it. Another dude play, uh, played it and they talking about did it, did it deliver. Come on, man. I'm going to just leave that there. That shit right itself. Like, that's some stupid shit. That's like saying I'm about to leave a review of Black Myth Wukong and I ain't even got the game yet. Come on, bro. Cut the bullshit now. Now, now. now we just, now we just, now we just say shit. And this right here, bro. So a woman did the review for Screen Rant. Fine. We love women in game and all that shit, right? Here's a, here's some things that I just have a problem with before we even get to the real biggest problem here, right? She says, great diversity in items and mechanics, but is mad because there's lacking inclusivity and diversity of people in the game. Even though it's about mythical creatures. Like, this is that dumb shit. On top of it, combat is fluid and fun, but then gameplay becomes repetitive over time. The whole game is the combat and some cutscenes. So was it fun for five minutes and then it was no longer fun? So why even mention it? One of them two you can't mention. You can't. You can't. It doesn't make sense to me. You can't say something is fluid and fun. I had a good time with it, but it was repetitive over time. Because I get where you thought you was trying to go, but don't say it was fun then. Don't, like, it can't be fun and then it was pet repetitive because repetitive means then it got boring. That's all that means. Repetitive means boring. So that means you're saying it was fun one minute and then it was boring in the next. Just say it was boring then if you felt like it was boring, but you only felt like it was boring because you couldn't play as a woman. Even though that's not the point here. It's a fucking monkey. Like, it doesn't matter. So, like, again, these these are these are the reviews that we getting. Okay, so this is Metacritic, Windows Central, Ultimate Black Wukong is a very solid action RPG, complete with thrilling cinematic boss, diverse, gorgeously rendered, lo, lo, gorgeously rendered, mind you, locales, a rich combat system, uh, um, uh, repleted with build options, and a well-told story. However, it holds itself back with bland level design, Disappointing enemy variety, along with um, superfluous gear system and a few noteworthy performance issues. My problem with this is right. You praised everything. You gave it a seventy. I, I'm not. I'm un, I'm confused on the score. When ha the the problem you had is a sentence, and for about almost getting close to half a paragraph, you praised it. But it gets a 70. But my problem with this particular reviewer is disappointing enemy variety. Bro, I have heard there's at least 50 unique bosses in this bitch. Like, what are we talking about? This is that shit. This is, this is that shit, bro. Just say you don't like the game. Just say it didn't vibe with me. Say I would have preferred it picked up on more Souls element or left more Souls element. Like, to me, what you're doing here is everybody's review is the same because it seems like they all kind of just did the same sort of fucking homework. Like, everybody. 
So it's either you're giving it a really good score and it's the same or a really bad score and the same and nobody is giving any unique really thought process on it. And that's my problem with all this, bro. Like, these are the people we're supposed to be listening to. Half half of this is just milking. This dude is milking IGN because he need the glow of more subs and this stuff. He know how to play the game. These dudes sitting up here talking about a game, about if it delivered, they don't even have it. This motherfucker is talking about lacking diversity in a fucking game of monkeys and magic and mystical creatures and shit. And this one is talking about lack of any diversity whenever they got over 60 or 50 different enemies of bosses. Come on, man. Just come on. Look, y'all. Look, y'all. They did this with so many games and so many games they overlooked it. And so many, like, so you you choose what you do. Like, somebody was just talking today about how much um, everybody, like, really liked Dragon's Dogma and stuff like that. And their performance issues are still in the game and have not changed. Like, to me, it's just, it, it, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. It's, it's a lot of these games, like Elden Ring. I, Elden Ring is my favorite game of all time. There was numerous people reporting about uh, performance issues when Elden Ring came out. So, to me, the, the performance thing on PC is just such a dead issue to me just because we all have to understand at the end of the day, they have to appease to people still using 1660 graphics cards. To people using forty nineties, to people using AMD, to people using Ryzen, and ch- like, come on, bruh. So I'm gonna leave it here, man. Y'all use your use your own brain. Use 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 the brain God gave you to choose what game you want to play. Please don't listen to these people on the internet. Go watch somebody on Twitch play something. Not even this game. Any game that come out. Go watch somebody play it on Twitch. Get as much gameplay as you can on it before you make this. Because for me. Within five minutes of watching something, I can see if I don't want to play it, I'm interested in playing or I'm definitely buying it. There ain't none of this, oh, I'll wait for reviews. And I ain't waiting on no reviews. I'm just sorry. There's so many games, people just, they lack the, like, like this. You think you don't, people had to read all sorts of lore about Eldering to figure out. There are lore videos about all these, and they get, they get loved or hated or whatever because of difficulty. But either way, they remember because of not being able to know the story and shit like that. Come on, bro. Come on. So, I'm going to leave it here, y'all. We will be playing Black Miss Wukong on release date. It is scheduled, and I am excited. And no matter what performances you have, we'll get through that shit. I ain't. I ain't too worried about it, especially whenever it sounds like these people, all of them, are making it through the game with these performance issues quickly before i get out of here i has jedi survivor loved it great game i could not get through a certain area because of the bug fit issue so that's what i'm talking about as far as severe can't get through and i'm just trying to fucking hype up my fucking review to make it seem like the game is that bad even though i want to say all these other things but i can't say them because conflict of interest or i didn't even play the game or i think it should be like this or i'm just ill-informed so forth and so on y'all take it easy getting out of here peace